Everybody, welcome back. I'm Strategy Professor. All right, let's go ahead and get back in here. Yeah, we'll just fight it. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done this campaign. I started recording some of those episodes early on just because it looks like fun and I just wanted to try it out. But we got a sponsor, wanted to sponsor the Dry Chick campaign. So special thanks to Jay for sponsoring this campaign. I really appreciate it. It was very fun, but I had to get back to business, finish the Throck campaign, and work my way through a Wolf, Marcus Wolfhart campaign as well. Now, Jay also sponsored a um, snitch campaign, so check that out. And then a, I'll have to double check which one, but a um, Tomb Kings campaign as well. Okay, so I think we just can run at him and just kill him here. Pretty sure we don't have to do anything fancy. Where are their large units? Okay, they have a few large units we need to maybe keep an eye on, but... Just make those three. What do we have? Okay. I don't really have that much magic. Put him in the middle as well. Let's just... I don't see any universe where they win this. But like I said last time, I don't really want to um, auto-resolve this because I'm a little worried. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. Okay, let's just put him separately then. I hate it when they give him that much space because you just really want your big giant units. A lot of times these melee type of units. Um, Try to have these flank. Okay, we probably won't need that. Alright. Now, what do we need to focus fire? These things are pretty dangerous. They're not as dangerous as they are in the um, base game. Graveguard have shields. We don't want to focus those out. Okay, we can try to maybe snipe their lord. We'll make them come at me here. Okay, yeah, they have some knights over there. Go ahead and split these up. Oh, I didn't realize, like, this is like, what? Oh, that rock's unmovable. Just like, okay. Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, I forgot to mark this person. Has anyone even taken any damage? Maybe taken a little bit, maybe. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it's like a hill. All right, let me just hold this then. At speed, armed and ready. At speed. Oh, whoa, 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 why are these dudes not attacking? 
Oops, that was early in the morning. Gotta wake up a little bit here. Okay. Let these dudes get in here. Yeah, focus those dudes out. How do these dudes get away with disengaging so often? What is that? Grave guard? Yeah, get those. to make sure that we turn that stuff off there. Fire? Do I have to tell them to fire every single time? I don't understand why nothing's firing. Okay, so even with terrible, terrible micro this time, we still end up crushing them. I don't understand why y'all can't fire. The thing's huge. You should be able to aim for him. Oh my gosh. firing on some stuff. Maybe my lord was just blocking them or something. I don't I don't know what was what was up with that. Okay, they're all dead. I don't know if I'd go so far as to call it close, but Yeah, the archers I don't I don't know. They just were not firing. I guess maybe my lord was blocking them. Usually those huge towering beasts, you can just fire into them comfortably. Even if your people are engaged with them. I'm going to have to look up some of the city management stuff again. I, was, I watched the end of the last video just to kind of catch up and try to remember what I was, what I was doing, but... I know one of the Empire guys just declared war on me, so that's annoying. How much longer is this confederation? Two turns also. Alright. Uh, definitely money. Okay, yeah, 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 I remember now. We have to do that ritual. Oh yeah, we killed the Skaven too. Alright, I'm just trying to remember, or part of the Skaven. And now we, we're wondering if we want to rattle the Greenskins or not. I think it doesn't matter if they have that property as long as 
we get this ritual of rebirth really so it said we had the ritual of rebirth but now we're at 99 Okay. Um. Yeah, I think we might just do specialists and assassinate and assault garrison and stuff like that with these guys potentially. How much of this? really didn't heal that much. We're, we're just going to have to wait on them to take this again, probably. And then what can we hire? We can hire Malevolent Treeman, Zoats. What do we need here? So we can get Treeman... Next turn, we can get Hawks, Hawk Riders. Okay. Hawk Riders are better than the normal Hawk things, I think. We have some of these things. What are these Spectral? Okay, so these are like Ghostly, Monstrous, Shock Cab. That looks pretty cool. Dang, those look really strong. How much? Oh, only five bonus versus large. Forty six thirty eight. It's pretty good, and they have quite a lot of HP. Yeah, those are those are huge. It's usually things that have that much physical resist, like the Wraith units, have much less health, but not in that case. All right, that's fine over there. I don't. What do we need for this? Oh, we need. Yeah, the growth is hard because of the public order, isn't it? Thirty five. One more Kindred, and then we can get the um, get this. Or okay, we can't get that yet. We have to do the ritual. Yeah, so we're just gonna have to wait on them to reoccupy this. Probably grab some more units, then burn it again. We'll be able to get that. Um, uh, being surrounded by vampire counts is kind of kind of rough. Is there any way we can be friends with them? I can't remember. I'm guessing that's a no. That's a negatory. Mm, they're kind of. Don't stand there like some stuff. Midland declared war on us. How close are they going to come to messing with us? Dark heart. Okay, I think just earth blood, just more earth blood. We already have one thing of earth blood though, so I'm not sure if we need more or not. That five melee might actually be pretty good. Okay, let me send her out. Silently. Or him out, rather. Just to scout. We've got eye sight beyond sight. And then honestly, I'm thinking maybe just specialist and just assassinate stuff. I really was doing that some in the Throck campaign and it worked out pretty well. Okay, so we can go ahead and get rid of this guy. We'll just hold on to those points and see what we want to do later. Okay, and... Okay, I did get that to get the public order penalty down. And then... Okay, we're working on these things. Yeah, for more or for a stronger garrison. Okay, it looks good to me. I don't think we need to upgrade. All right, and then down here. Now I'm trying to remember. We're the ultimate goal is to get this oak up. Where is it going right now? Natural decline is two. Forest healed plus eight. So we're getting six plus a turn, and then that gives full on growth. Okay, and we're trying to get. 
all the way up to four or five hundred. All right. This I don't remember. I don't think this counts as heal or not. What is this? Sword of Daith. Raid that. Okay. Okay, we probably need a little bit more power. Are we... I think we are rejiggering this stuff. Yeah, we need to get birds up. One health per turn, a local magical forest. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're working dragons. Faction-wide. Delandria, or whatever. Deliandra. Defensive stuff. Um... Musterstone. Glade Riders. Okay, so I just can't even hire Weight Watchers or anything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we can get Zoats, and then if we need to, we can get the Deepwood Scouts, and we can eventually get up to Dragons. Okay. How strong are they? Trying to remember. Uh, sort of, kind of. I, I think we can pick a fight with them. Let's do it. Well, hold on. Let me see. Who all's at war with? Is anyone at war with them that might pay us? Skaven are, but Kirk Ziflin's getting destroyed. <laughs> So this doesn't have any bearing on anything. Oh, it is part of the Oak of the Ages. Okay, never mind, it is part of it. Okay, so these guys took Paravon. All right. Really? We don't have a lot of magic here. We do have birds. So we should be able to grab this. Hope I'm not underestimating. Oh, we do have Flock of Doom. We have Flock of Doom. Possessed by the Trickster God. Okay, plus 10 melee defense. All right. For everybody. We don't have as much armor. We don't have anything that drops their magic resist either. So Flock of Doom, not as good. But glamoured. I, I think we beat him. Let's just do it. Any archers, though. We have one thing of way watchers. Oh, everybody can vanguard. Oh, did I, I must have gotten a special tree or something. So I think they actually have the uh, ranged advantage on us. So we want to charge them as soon as we can. Okay. Actually, let's make these our. Uh, three group and we'll charge them with these because these are a lot stronger and then we can flank with these other ones okay so we'll go with charge with uh these first and these will flank Yes. 
that. Jeez, those birds are... Okay, they're doing a little damage to the birds here. Yeah, we just need to pick off stuff that's already kind of weak with the birds because leaving them in combat seems like a bad idea. Let's try to shoot him in the back. Try to wrap around him here. Yes, quickly. We are tireless. That's what it is. The war. Ripley! Hunter! Stalking the prey! Oh, 
those are slayers. Okay. What do you think people would think if we said which cat is homeless and we did a little photo shoot of Sadie with the other cats that roam around? <laughs> um, Sadie would be the winner. Yeah, it's fun. You scratch it. It's like a scratch and sniff. Gross. Okay. Scratch offs. She just can't clean herself at all. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I think we just clear it every time. Now they might jump over and come at me here soon, so we gotta be a little careful. Alright, I think that's fine. I don't want to do the quest battle until we get some better units. Alright, I think that's pretty much everybody, right? Say da da da. What are we working on tech wise? This Weapon Strength for Dragons, Global Recruitment. Plus two. 20 for magic. Cash with your replenishment rate would be nice, although that's already pretty high. Ladriel. Okay. Alright, and I did, um, I don't remember if I said this last time or not, but I did look, when you get the, um, the chance for the dark magic and all that stuff, that's just, um... Lady of the Azrae. Yeah, these guys really don't like us for some reason. Oh, yeah, because she's... <laughs> she's just, like, slaughtering all the elves. That makes sense. Nobody wants to play with us. Okay, let's see. So he has this one, Dryad, Replenishment, Bitterbark. Plus eight leadership and expendable. Okay. Treeman. Okay. All right. Um. They've made confederation, so it's pretty much confederation's impossible with her. But they've made it much, much more difficult with most other factions. Pretty much, they have to be on the brink of death. <laughs> to confederate with you a lot of the time it's much more expensive to buy points with them and that's like the only time I've been able to get confederations with a lot of other factions is when they're pretty much dead 
So, like, the dream is they have a lot of properties, but they just lost all their armies in, like, a huge fight, and you might be able to get it, but... And I do like that they nerfed it, because if you confederate with a lot of factions with another legendary lord, it's almost always, you know, lights out. Got some forest dragon stuff. Griffin Wood is doing okay. All hail. Just hang out in this area and just scout. Who else is at war with? Are those green skins still at war? Those Paragon is. Um, Karak Norn obviously is. Karaz Karak is. Yeah, the Bone Rattlers are still at war with us, which is annoying, but. Yeah, 300 a turn on this guy is like... I don't know if it's worth paying that, because it's... Nah, I just might get rid of him. Oriole's Chosen is good. Let's say Melee's pretty good. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I keep one of them just to try to keep Vision. I can't remember what I had been doing before, her, but... Because we can hire them. Oh, maybe I can't. I can hire a Branch Wraith here if I want to. But, okay. Maria okay, so we have to just burn one more thing over here. Are these any good? What What do I have skill-wise? Where are those? Zoats are pretty bad, right? It's like the striking branches. Yeah. Fear and terror when ambushing in forests. Indoctrinator. Perenniality. Alright, so we need our front line. Two, three, four. Four of those. And I guess just the elf birds. Um, might need one or two more of these. Oh, we can do tree kin as well. I was not like super impressed with those, but having one of them is probably pretty good. Just to duel enemy lords. They're only two fifty one, which is pretty cheap. So forty nine fifty nine. So they do have a lot more defense than normalist than normal malevolent treekin, I should say. More armor. Armor piercing damage. Okay, so let's just get maybe um Oh, can we not? Okay, yeah. We have no So we can't hire a lot of stuff at the same time. Okay. Maybe it's probably more important to get the birds then. Oh, we can global stuff too. Which is way more important, probably. Why can't? Okay. We're not that desperate. Alright, that's fine. Okay, so that's all good. And then. Okay, so they have a little bit of stuff over there. There. Okay, so we'll hire a few more things here next turn. That. Is there anything that's like recruitment capacity that I can get? 
global recruitment capacity. Minus one recruitment for global, that's really good. Then I can get a lot of this stuff in just one turn. <clears throat> All right, seems good. Um, the big tree can are also a lot better on a siege just because there's only so much surface area to get through a siege. Imperial convoy. Oh, they have replenished troops as well. Okay, I forgot about that. Do they have, still have damaged walls? Uh, yes, they do. But I might want to keep him in the army. Alright, and then... Now, getting away with this many dryads, if we can do that, is good. Because that keeps this army really cheap. The forest is I don't know where this convoy is, but... could come at me at any moment. Why not? Oh, I need growth for that. Two kindreds. Okay. This does not cost any kindreds. This does. I uh, definitely want that, I think. And then probably get rid of this eventually. But yeah, I mean, we, we need money. For sure. Wait, six. So that gives. Oh, you can get multiple of these. Okay, I thought you could only get one infrastructure. I didn't realize that. Well, I need to get the money buildings everywhere then. I thought you had to choose for some reason. I don't know why I thought that, but. armor now physical resist I don't know if I'm even going to use him as a fighter I mean 39 35, I mean he can maybe become an okay fighter with rigor temper plus 12 plus 12 that would make him a lot better well, let's just work our way towards that i guess and this wild form that is aoe for seven nice 22 seconds armor and base weapon damage huh we're probably gonna be flock of doom in a lot Three, four, five, six. Four, 
five, six tank front line. It's probably fine. We can get one or two more of these if we need to, or we can hire in like another one of these spiders or something, or malevolent dryads. We have some of this stuff we can bring in too. Okay, that should be good. Let's get those birds going, and then. Over here, we need more birds, too. Uh, how many? Eight dryads. I mean, dryads aren't amazing <laughs> on sieges. It's not a huge siege. What's going on, dear? Big slayers. Well, we definitely want birds. Um, I guess I get rid of this one. Really don't want to get rid of these tree kin. Oh, I forgot I can upgrade these two. Probably just the armor or this. The eight bonus versus infantry. I think Willow with eight melee defense. Don't want to get rid of the Waywatcher. Um, I think the armor one's better than... Well, I don't know. The infantry one's pretty dang good. The 6-6. Six, six. I guess we'll get rid of one of these armors. for here wonders of the forest yeah we just need to go through there okay just to give us six birds we can probably siege with that i kind of want to get rid of the normal birds and just do these hawk riders and stakes like that ammo just being able to shoot it's pretty big deal maybe we wait one more turn and do that to replace the hawks okay how are we looking on time 44 minutes all right Sadie's running for it. Blessed by the lake. Green peace. No, I didn't look. I assume we have grapes, and we might need another <clears throat> another thing over there. Okay, vampires are taking some stuff. <laughs> Why did she take off like that? I don't know, she was on the back of the chair. Oh. Can you close the window next to you? What the heck, man? Is it creating a glare? All right, now we're starting to, we're getting into survivor mode. They're all gonna start coming at us. turns for these malevolent treemen or what the or do I just want to go with these these are only 151 a turn also so these are cheaper um There was an upgrade that was like something crazy. Tree, okay, tree can and tree men. 
any like infantry in case of poison and then reload reduction for all armies don't have that yet wasn't there something that was like AOE damage for treemen oh ancient treemen lords get a bound spell flock of doom and minus one for war of beasts for all spells that's that's actually pretty good four free flock of dooms for defending but there was one where it just like gave aoe damage for treemen that's treemen lords i guess okay well i don't know that i necessarily want to wait that many turns Should be able to jump over and kill Karag Dromar. Yeah, whatever. Let's do three of these. I don't think we need more treemen. Rather just get this ball rolling so we can move on and try to kill something else. Okay, is that enough to go after these guys? So we're gonna have twenty units. Could go after Paravon as well, again. No, yeah. Um, yeah, these guys are really weak. But I need, I do need to kill Karakhnorn before they get too big. Just can we beat them on a siege here? Not likely. They don't think it's likely. Now, he has enough magic where I can probably get away with maybe, like, not just cracking walls. Now, I can crack walls and then siege next turn. Okay. You know, I, I don't think this dude's probably worth. Let's just, let's just get rid of him. I just save a little little gold here. It's 300 a turn. We can hire another one if we need to. Well. Uh, I mean, this Eye of Kurnos would is nice on a siege. Fine. Okay, so everybody's moved, I think. Argolon... Do I need this? Plus one per turn. Extra branch rates. Or whatever sorceresses. Do we even need sorceresses? Oh, we can't even hire sorceresses. What does this even do then? It's basically nothing. I mean, we could get 300 more gold per turn and more growth. We don't need the growth, but like, Tainted plus three. Yeah, I mean, let's just get rid of that and then Trapper's Den. Oh no, we need a Kindred for this. We can upgrade this. Okay, fine. Um, I think everybody has moved. Everybody who needs to hire is hiring. Let's go. Gonna save a little money, and we have lots of regiments of renown if they want to come attack our main tree. Okay, bone rattlers are getting busted up, so that's good. Oh, I needed to put that stag in, like check the followers on Durthu's army. We do not have lightning strike, but we might be able to pull them out of the garrison. 
with that extra lord they just hired. Brutal business. Plus 20 for all armies for 10 turns. That's probably not good for us. 14. So they do more damage. But all of our dudes do more damage too. Okay. So that's 14. 20, so it's like 23 units. They have giant slayers too. Now these are obviously going to be way better against giant slayers than the treekin. So we're going to have to watch those treekin on these these things because those things will do some damage. All right, let's just try it out. We should be able to focus fire these, hopefully with the birds. They have any, they have a couple of rifles. They have a couple of rifles, a couple of quarrelers, okay. Jeez, that is a lot of giant slayers though. We maybe need some more archers. Like these birds are really kind of a liability right now. But, we can probably deal with them. Let's just do it. If we lose it, we can probably hold our base if we just hire another lord there and just wait on Durthu to come back. And I don't know where these reinforcements are coming in either. I think they're coming in from straight behind them. But we should have... I don't know how we have Vanguard on everything. If Maybe it's just faction-wide we just get Vanguard. I can't remember. Okay, so we do have to be cautious with uh, our tree kin here. Although they're going to have to get in combat. There's just no way around that. <clears throat> now, what is... Okay, it's life magic. All right, so that's probably better to use life on this one. Okay, there's a four group, two, eight, two. And have these guys like come in and flank if we can. Five. I need to just wear out these giant slayers, what I need to do. These giant slayers, those are long beards, okay. Long beards, great weapons, okay.
Okay, we're just trying to like fly around and just distract these things. So they don't fire on us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did these dudes come from? Oh, these guys just rallied back or something? What are these? Okay, these are like some kind of Slayer unit. I don't know, let's get over here and kill these. Okay, so we killed 
all of the uh, long beards, but now we gotta try to kill the rest of this stuff if we can. I thought I said everyone go kill things. I should have had him closer to me. going the wrong way. You lost, boy? <laughs> It's only worth healing up the single target units. They're the single entity units. I mean, that is a really nice thing about Treeman at the end of long fights like this in enemy territory where you're not going to get much replenishment. Um, you know, you can do the life magic at the end. They have nerfed it a lot over time, so you can't just, like, you know, grab your whole army and do it and have a whole army of, like, single entity units. Now these this spell also does not resurrect the dead. Like the Nehekara thing can resurrect the dead. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. It's because I'm gonna heal myself back also, and I wanna get make sure Durthu is healed up for this siege. That's another reason this thing is so strong with life magic or anything that regenerates. because you can just keep regenerating with it. Get that ward or whatever that thing is out there. So yeah, we just wanted to neutralize the giant slayers ASAP, which is why we were just sending all of, using up all of our ammo. But then as you can see, like the birds are, I think we saw this before, but these uh, hawk riders are actually pretty good on the charge too. They get a nice charge bonus and they have really heavy armor piercing damage. So. They are not good in sustained combat because they have very little armor themselves. Um, but, you know, for that first 10 seconds or so, they're great. And if you're just flying from, you know, unit to unit, just charge cycling and just mowing down their um, missile infantry, then they're actually very good. And the fact that it's flying and ranged is really nice for just positioning behind them and shooting into their backs to negate shields and things like that. Obviously good on sieges. But yeah, that's why I, I need to replace my normal hawks with them because they aren't really that much more expensive. Um, it almost looks like everything's on fire down there, doesn't it? <laughs> but not really. There's like this kind of mist. We live up on a 
mountain type of area. Yeah, we held them to pretty low numbers on those um, slayers, considering. And the trees actually held up pretty well there against them. I mean, these things aren't that bad, even into infantry. I mean, they're not great into infantry, but they're not terrible. You know, they should be able to beat up our tier 1 infantry, but we did a pretty good job of lighting them up. I guess we'll just take the replenishment, because that's almost no money. And the reason it's no money, you might say, well, why is that so little? It's because we don't get credit for killing the other army or killing the town's garrison because we attack the lord who is on the outside of the town. So that's one of the, you know, penalties is we pretty much lost out on four or five thousand gold probably post-battle loot because we attacked the dude outside the town. But it pulled them all off the garrison. So I think that was worth it. This would have been much, much harder I have no time for this. Um, to try to siege without that. So we... Not I, I'm not sure if they're going to make us... Uh, siege this or not, but we'll go ahead and um, damage the walls just in case they do. Nettles of Malice. Very good. Is it Enchanted Photosynthesis? Oh, so he gets... Okay, nice. four extra melee attacker that I think just this right I mean that's such a good combo with his ability to hurt himself for more magic yeah let's just go ahead and do that and the replenishment okay we'll get back in there next time though uh, with him I think we're just trying to get to the money missile strength during ambushes yeah Air of Kurnos. Yeah, they're gonna make us fight it. Like this is ridiculous. Like they're so injured. But anyways, we'll we'll start off next time fighting it. We will. We should be able to take this, burn it. It's tier four, so it should be some pretty good money. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did. Special thanks to Jay for sponsoring this. If you'd like to sponsor a campaign yourself, email me at thestrategyprofessor@gmail.com. Just three dollars an episode, minimum ten episodes, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.